let's keep adding some four-digit numbers. See, I'm on page 25 of the, uh, the Singapore Math 3A book, and we're going to do problem number three. And let me actually draw the, the places like I've had in the last couple of problems. So let me draw some columns, some lines, some separators. So, so I'll do the one space to the right of that, 10 space, and that's for the hundreds and the thousands. And to the left of that, I can actually write the problem. And let me write down, this is thousands, this is hundreds, this is tens, and this is ones. OK, so the problem we have here is 5,840, 5,840. And let's write that out into the bucket. So we have five thousands. In the thousands place, we have five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to stop writing a thousand in every one of those. You know that these are each worth a thousand. We have eight hundreds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundreds. And you know each of those are worth a hundred. We have four tens. One, two, three, four tens. And we have zero ones. Fair enough. No ones. Actually, I, I enjoy writing a thousand here, so I'm going to do it. There's no space to write a hundred in each of those, but you know that you could cash these in for a hundred dollars. You could cash each of these in for ten. This is a thousand and a thousand. And we are going to add that to sixty. So it's plus sixty. So 60, that's six tens. So we have, let's see, I could do it down here. One, two, three, four, five, six tens, and zero ones, and that's all there is. So let's see if we can add it up. So what's zero plus zero? Zero plus zero is zero. And now how many tens are there? Well, if we add four plus six, we get 10. You can't write a two-digit number in the tens place. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, take get Take 4 plus 6 is 10, and convert that entire 10 to 100. And how can I do that? Because this is the tens place, right? So this is 4 tens plus 6 tens is equal to 10 tens. 10 tens is equal to 100. Or you could say 40 plus 60 is equal to 100. And so if, if we converted all of the, the tens to an 100, we have no tens here, and we have an extra 100. And we could visually view it this way, where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 tens, right? And what I just did is I took all of those, I took all of those tens, and I converted them into a hundred. I'll write a hundred in there. And then I had no tens left over. They were all converted. And that's exactly what I did here. I said, this four tens plus this six, te six tens is equal to ten tens. Let me convert them all into a hundred. This is the hundred. So you could view this hundred as this one up here. And then I have no tens left over, and that's that zero. And then I'm in the hundreds place. One hundred plus eight hundred is nine hundred. And we could count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have five thousand. So we get five thousand nine hundred. Let's do another problem. Let me see if I can erase all of this without having to redraw everything. That was pretty good. Let's see if I can do something. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see if I can do that here. Oh, that's, I'm getting good at this. I want to clean this up a little bit. That's about as good as I could expect. And then on this end, let's see how well I can look at that. That was neat. OK, so the next problem we have is the next problem is 3,700 or 3,700 plus 300. And think about this in your head, right? And I kind of gave you a hint. I mean, you really should pronounce this as 3,700, or you could pronounce this as 3,700. But either way, what's 37 plus 3? Well, 37 plus 3, 37 plus 1 is 38. 37 plus 2 is 39. 37 plus 3 is 40, right? So you probably have an intuition already that this is going to equal 40 hundred or 4,000. 
But anyway, if that confuses you, ignore it. I'm going to draw it out with a place notation. So we have three thousands in this top number. So there's three thousands right here. That's one, two, three. Each of those are worth a thousand. And I have seven hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each of these are worth a hundred. And I have no tens and no ones. And then in this bottom number, I'll say I have three hundreds. And that's all I have. I just have three hundreds. So let me add it here. One, two, three. So let's add. Zero plus zero. Zero plus zero is zero. 0 plus 0 is 0. And as we can see, we have no 1s, no 10s. And so that makes sense. And then 7 plus 3 is 10. And what we can do, this is 700 plus 300, right? So 700 plus 300 is 1,000. So instead of writing, you can't write 1,000 down here. So let's convert those 10 hundreds into 1,000. So let me do this in a new color. I'll do it in bold red. And then we have no hundreds left. So how do we think about that here? Well, we had 700 plus 300. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What we do is we take all of them. We're going to take those 10 hundreds and convert it into 1,000. And then, since we convert it, we have no hundreds left. right? So we have no hundreds left, and we converted them all into a thousand. So this thousand is the same thing as this one here up in the thousands place. So we have a one thousand plus three thousand. One thousand plus three thousand is equal to four thousand. So that is exactly what we thought about when we said, well what thirty thirty seven plus three is forty, but we're saying thirty seven hundred plus three hundred is forty hundred or four thousand. And if you wanted to just do this mechanically, you could have just said thirty seven hundred plus three hundred could have said, oh, zero. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. We could say 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. And this is kind of the traditional way people learn to do it. They say 7 plus 3 is 10. And they say, well, 10, let's write the 0, carry the 1, and then 1 plus 3 is 4. But I don't like that carrying way, and the Singapore math curriculum doesn't like that carrying way, because you don't know why you carried it. You don't know why you wrote the 0 from the 10, you wrote the 1 there. What you actually did is you said 7 plus 3 is 10. You can't write a 10 here, so let's convert that entire 10 into 1 of the next place. right? So you have this is 700 plus 300 is equal to 10 hundred, or 1,000. And then you have none of the. Um, and then you have none of the hundreds left, because you convert it all to 1,000. And you have 1,000 plus 3,000 is 4,000. So let's do a bunch of problems. This is, we're on page 26 now. And I won't draw out the place value, but you should think about it in your head that the place value is happening. So the first problem we have is 1,028 plus 234. So what's 8 plus 4? It's 12. We can't put a 12 in the ones place. So let's just take out of that 12, let's take 10 and convert it to a 10. And then we would just have 2 left over. And you could, if you wanted to do this you know, in a mechanical way, you could say 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry the 1. But what we really did is said 8 plus 4 is 12. Of the 12, we're going to put 2 in the ones place, and then take 10 and convert it to a 10. And then we have 1 10 plus 2 tens plus 3 tens. That's 6 tens, right? 0 hundred plus 200 is 200. And then 1. It's 1,262. Let's do another one, and I will switch colors for variety. 2,409 plus 1,245. What's 9 plus 5? Well, 9 plus 5 is 14. We can only write one digit here. So out of the 14, let's write the 4. And then the, remain, the rest of the 10, let's convert it into a 10's place, or put it in the 10's place. So this 1 represents 10. And this is the 4. So 10 plus 4 is 14. That's all we did. Or you could say 9 plus 5 is 14. But you should be understanding why we're doing this. 
It's not just some kind of you know random game we're doing. It it should all make sense in your head that this you know that this isn't some kind of magic. And so we have one ten plus zero tens plus four tens. So ten plus forty is fifty. Four hundred plus two hundred is six hundred. Two thousand plus one thousand is three thousand. So it's three thousand six hundred and fifty four. Let's do another one, and I'll keep switching colors. Four thousand one hundred and ninety plus six hundred and forty nine. So what's zero plus nine? That's easy, that's just nine. What's nine plus four? It's thirteen. Or we could view it as ninety plus forty is one hundred thirty, but nine plus four is thirteen. We could put the three here and then convert the ten into one of the next decimal place. So another way to view it is ninety plus forty is thirty and a hundred, right? And the hundred we write in the hundreds place. One hundred plus a hundred plus six hundred is eight hundred, or one plus one plus six is eight, and then you bring down the four thousand. Four thousand plus zero is four thousand. So it's four thousand eight hundred and thirty nine. Let's keep going. I think we're on a roll. What problem are we on? So three thousand two hundred and sixty plus four thousand two hundred and eighty two. Zero plus two is two. Six plus eight is fourteen. Let's put the four here and then the ten. Let's put it in the next place. And does that make sense? Well, 60 plus 80 is 140. So this is this represents the 100, and this represents the 40, right? If it's 100, let's put it in the hundreds place. A 1 in the hundreds place represents 100. So 1 plus 2 plus 2, that's 5. But these are really hundreds, right? Because we're in the hundreds place. And 3 plus 3,000 plus 4,000 is 7,000. Let's do two more problems. I might be running out of color soon. 6,204 plus 993. What's 4 plus 3? What's 7. What's 0 plus 9? What's 9? What is 200? You know, this is 0 tens, this is 90, right? So it's 90. What's, what's 200 plus 900? It's 1,100, you could say. So let's 1100 is the same thing as 1100. So let's rewrite it as 1100. Right? That's all I did or you could say 2 plus 9 is 11. But what we're really doing is saying that 200 plus 900 is 1100. So 1000 plus 6000 is 7000. And we could have written this one anywhere. We just write it all the way up on top just because it's neat. If we wrote it like here, we would get it confused with other things. So that's the only reason why it goes all the way up here. There's nothing special about its position. Let's do one last problem for this video. I know I'm running long. So it's 5,402 plus 2,960. 2 plus 0 is 2. Zero tens plus six tens is six tens or sixty. Four hundred plus nine hundred is thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred is one thousand. So put the one in the thousands place and three hundred. Right? One thousand plus five thousand plus two thousand is eight thousand. Eight thousand three hundred and sixty two. I'll see you in the next video.